is the Bubbles and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would tell you about some more eBay brushes. I was scanning eBay and thought I needed some more brushes and I saw the Bare Minerals dupe brush, the NARS brush, the NARS contour brush and some MAC eyeshadow brushes. Um, I bought them, they were so cheap and I thought I would tell you what I think of them. So if you want to see what I think of all these brushes, just keep watching. Okay, the first brush that I picked up from eBay was this one here. And it's got the hole in the middle. It's like the Bare Minerals Foundation um, Perfecting Face Brush. And um, I bought this one off eBay for a dollar. It looks the same. It feels really soft like the Bare Minerals one. So um, it's looking promising. When I got it, it didn't um, shed or anything like that. I washed it and it was it's still just as soft. Um, it just come in like a packaging like this. Uh, I will link all the brushes down below but I thought I would test this one out I don't have a foundation like the Bare Minerals but I thought I would just grab my BB cream the Garnier one which is the same consistency just to give it a go and see what I think of it so here we go I'm gonna put it in the middle just like they do I'll try it with like a softer foundation and then I'll try it with a different one as well so seems to be putting it on nicely so far maybe because it's a light foundation um, a light coverage foundation I can't see any brush strokes or anything like that but it does feel really nice okay now that I've evened out my face I'm going to take a thicker foundation which is the matte and poreless from Maybelline the fit me and give that a go okay on my brush whoa puts it on really thick okay definitely with a thicker kind of foundation you can still see all of the brush marks um, it distributed it nicely, but like you got it more at the start than you did at the end. It's, so it didn't really hold all the foundation in the brush so I could tra like have it all over my face, if you get what I mean. So maybe with this brush, I would just blob the foundation on my face and then buff it out. Because this way I kind of can still see the brush marks and I'm like not that happy with it. But for a dollar, I mean, I would use it just to buff it out. Not really apply it fully. I'll probably go over this with my sponge just to blend out the brush marks. But the quality of the brush and the bristles are actually quite nice because... They're not falling out and they're really really soft so it's not too bad okay so on eBay this is called the luxury professional makeup brush foundation blusher and face powder so you can use it for a lot of things um, this was only a dollar you can get it in black as well so yeah, not too bad. Okay, the next brush that I wanted to try out was this one. Now this one you might see as the NARS contour brush. Um, this one's really, really soft. None of the bristles are falling out, which is good. Um, on eBay, this is called the New Pro Contour Blusher Cosmetic Flat soft kabuki brush and it is $1.65 with $1.76 postage so I wanted to give this one a go it is hollow in the middle it does have that rubberized kind of 
um, handle so it does it's probably going to get really dirty as I can see already um, straight away but the bristles feel really nice comes in this packaging they all come in the plastic um, kind of bag things so I just have my contour palette and I'm going to just grab some colors that I usually use it picks up the product quite well so let's see oh there's already a brush here on my face so it doesn't come out if you're like holding it but it comes out on your face so it feels kind of nice on the face blending it out wise it's not too bad whoa <gasps> another brush here so it's okay let me do the other side okay so I used my toughest contour palette to um, blend out which was the Astralis one I find that really really tough to blend out with some of my other brushes but this one blended it out quite nice apart from the hairs that it leaves on the face so when I did them I think two fell out on this side and one fell out on this side but for a quick like brush just to grab it's okay um there was another hair so I probably wouldn't recommend buying this brush I mean if you really want a brush that's like the NARS brush and you want to try it before you get the NARS one maybe this would be a good one to test out um, but it's not gonna last you a long time um, the bristles are falling out as you put it on your face um, it didn't fall out when I was like washing it or like pulling them up like that it wasn't falling out but as soon as I started putting it on my face they started falling out so I would say if you want to try the NARS one go for something like this first because it's only like a dollar but if you I would just go get the NARS one I think um, if you really wanted it I would just get that one okay and the last brushes I want to tell you about are these ones these are supposed to be dupes for Mac um, they're called for makeup cosmetic eyeshadow blush powder foundation blending brushes tool set so all four brushes were $2.94 on eBay. Um, the numbers on here are the 217. So that's supposed to be the 217 brush. This one's the 224. This one's the 239. And this one's the 222. So first when these brushes got here, they were in the plastic but they looked exactly like this I have to show you a close-up all like just all over the place not even shaped or anything um, I did cut them a little bit just to shape them a little bit more but uh, they feel really really hard so they're quite not good um, they were falling out everywhere like even now I'm like pulling out hairs um, yeah they're not good at all some people have gotten good ones um, like I've heard so many people say they're so amazing they're really good but I actually got them and they're quite crap so I'll test them out see how they go on the eye but I don't like them. I don't like them already. 
Okay, I'm going to use the Sleek Storm Palette today. I'm just going to do a natural eye. I'll zoom you up so you can see what's happening on the face. I'm going to take the 239 brush, which looks like this, just to put a colour all over the lid. It picks up okay colour. It feels like quite scratchy on the eye. No, I don't like this brush. Okay, well it put the shadow on pretty good, but it was scratching my eye, so no. I'll use the 222 brush. It's more of a domed one. I'm going to pick up like a darker brown just to put some in the crease. Okay, this is really scratchy. I have a feeling that all these brushes are going to be really scratchy. But they're doing an alright with job by putting the eyeshadow on. Okay, I'm going to use the 217 brush just to blend that all out. Ow. I don't really see a difference and it was scratching the hell out of my eye. This is the 224 brush and it is harder than the other ones. They're not even soft to touch. Like, look at that. It's just horrible. So I'm a bit disappointed in these brushes. These I would use as uh, I don't have any eyeshadow brushes left so I need to use the ones that I don't like kind of brushes. Um... But these are absolutely horrible. Sorry, but nope. If there is a better seller that you know um, makes these brushes and sells these brushes, let me know in the comments down below. But this one is just horrible. They're so hard and they're so scratchy on the eye. I don't like them at all. And these are supposed to be dupes for MAC brushes. Don't think so. That's what I thought about these guys. I would buy these two. But this one I would only buy if I was wanting to try the NARS brush. But then I w I'll just grab the NARS brush later. And this one I would buy just to have as a spare brush to put my foundation on. These ones, no. I'm going to throw them out. So that's what I thought about these brushes. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah.